Welcome, everybody, to today's interview. We are interviewing, we being me, a part of the cast of Chasing Bodies, interviewing, playing Never Have I Ever, with the rest of the cast, these other two beautiful gents of Chasing Bodies. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do a Never Have I Ever, but specifically Chasing Bodies edition. So every question has something to do with the film that we are making slash have already made question mark by the time this video comes out fantastic um so let's jump to the first question shall we and also we're gonna order we're gonna answer in the order of our heads that are uh beautifully placed on this beautiful graphic um okay here's the first question would you rather have the ability to switch bodies with anyone in the whole entire world or would you be able to time travel? Naomi, thoughts? I would personally prefer to time travel because I think like switching bodies with somebody is just too personal. <laughs> time travel, I can go anytime, any place, see any event. I I'd pick time travel for sure. Is, but is there a specific place you would like time you would want to go? Mm, I would love to go to the um, the Live Aid concert when Queen performed. I think that would have been oh, cool. So that's so done. wholesome. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to be like, yeah, I want to go to like, I don't know, prehistoric times or something. But no, no, that's... No, I'd love to go see that concert. I think it would be so cool. That's adorable. Echo, Echo, what are your thoughts? Uh, I would choose uh, Switch Bodies. Because I can have a totally different life. Maybe I can switch to a very beautiful uh, star or <laughs> like the, the, the most rich people in the world. Yo, so listen. Uh, yeah. Echo, life. I'm with you. I am entirely with you. I When I was writing this question, I was like, this is a no brainer for me. Mm -hmm. Because I totally agree with Echo. I would switch bodies with like bro like echo saying someone influence bro i want to be tom hanks make me tom <laughs> hanks i don't it doesn't even say for a day it just says like in general i want to be tom hanks i want to live life in his shoes be a s wealthy superstar mm -hmm. i never thought of it that way like that, that the point that you both made is actually it's very valid so i do respect it like to thank live you. in a life of like a billionaire that sounds thank bad. you Listen, instead of seeing Queen, you could be Queen. Thoughts? Hmm, Does this change your opinion? Really? No. Sad. Okay, we're going to move on to the next question. Would you rather be able to play the ukulele or play the piano? And when I say play, I mean be a pro. Like, be the most expert at playing the ukulele and playing the piano. Naomi? I think, for me, the piano because a piano is often very accessible everywhere. So you could really just like bust out like some tunes in like a subway station or something like that. And I think, I think it's such a, it's a universal instrument. So once you know how to play the piano really well, I feel like you can play a lot of other instruments pretty well. That is totally fair. Echo, Echo, what, what about you? Uh, I might choose ukulele because uh, I think it's not so large, so I can take it anywhere uh, when I go tr go to travel or go anywhere I can take it and uh, uh, sing a song every time, so I would choose ukulele. That's fair, and you you have a ukulele as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you just want to learn how to play it at this point. <laughs> nice. Um, you guys, you guys make the same point, which is you guys want to be able to show off your talents wherever you go. That seems to be the trend. You just want to show off everywhere, which is respectable. Um, honestly, I, I, honestly, I'm with Echo again. I don't know, Naomi. You're, you're Margot oh, number oh, one. Or <laughs> You're Marco number one or something. I don't know. It's you're over there. Um, no, but I I do would want to play the ukulele like especially well, like freakishly, like no 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 no. I like just I want to be able to play it ridiculously well, for a multitude of reasons. One, I feel like it's like one of those instruments. Like if you can like, 
it seems more snazzy than someone can play the piano because I feel like playing the piano at this point is more common, even though I can't it do that either. Um, uh, but also, I have uh, a friend who's really good, extremely good at playing the ukulele, and I want to be better than him. Wow. So, so it's, for you, it's also showing off your talents. It's, for one person, for yes, one person. you are correct. But also, I want to do it out of spite. So we're all doing it for bad reasons, but mine is worse. Is it though? Yes, it is. Okay, next question. Would you rather randomly break into song at terrible moments, bad times, or lose your sense of smell? And sense of smell will be like forever it's gone. Yeah, forever it's gone. Is that equal taste because they're connected or no? I'll leave that up to science's interpretation. Well, That's my way of saying I have no idea. I think I love food. And I also already kind of randomly break into song. <laughs> so I'm going to say I would I would choose to randomly break into song. But at bad times, that will be horrible. If you're like at a funeral or something. And that's... then you start singing. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just, that. that's when it will be bad. That's but, the point. It's bad times. Okay, uh, loss of loss of smell. You can you can live without that. <laughs> Bear. Bear. Echo. <laughs> Echo, what about you? Um, honestly, both of them are terrible. <laughs> um, I think I gonna choose lose my sense of smile because I have uh, I can taste the food, yeah, uh, maybe. But at bad times, I don't know how bad it is. <laughs> maybe it's I I can't tolerate that, so I choose to lose my sense of smile. Interesting. I listen. This is the first time. How sad! I'm not agreeing with Echo. I feel like I I'm similar to Naomi in which I I randomly break out into song anyways. So. Uh, the bad times thing like i'm definitely thinking funerals i'm thinking yeah. court proceedings i'm thinking libraries yeah. <laughs> it's to be a student libraries i've never I, i'm never in a library why would i ever um yeah I, I like i feel like it could just be my quirk you know like people would be like ah that's Sarah. She can smell, but oh man, she sucks. I feel she like just... <laughs> I'm at the funeral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be so bad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be. But come on, so funny. It's funny. It, it's a quirk, like you said. That would that would be, and people be like, ah, oh, <laughs> Sarah. Just it would be fun. That. It would be funny later. Yeah. And I think that's my gift to humanity is it's just is is being funny like and then people in the it's a gift for people in the future. You know, they'll be like, oh, remember? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. The next one I'm really interested in. I wrote this and I was like, oh, my God, this one's mm -hmm. deep. OK, this is deep. So think real deep about it. Would you rather be messy but rich or neat, but poor. Neat being like organized and stuff. I feel like I'm gonna keep asking questions about the question. Oh or should boy. I just roll whatever yeah, ask, ask a question. I, I know all I can clarify. How poor, how poor? Zero whole dollars. Oh, so like poor, poor. That, yep. <laughs> uh... Oh, I think I would probably go, as much as people don't say money solves all your problems, I feel like it's more, it's safer to be messy but rich, because you can pay people to clean up your mess with that money. Or, hear me out, if, let's talk question restriction laws, what if yeah. you physically, like you have to, no matter how many people you pay you have to live in filth okay 
than neat but poor. Oh, if I had interesting. To, you know, if I had to live in filth, I feel like if you're neat and poor, you value what you have a lot more. Because mm, you like keep... it'll, it'll only be a little bit of things to keep in order. <laughs> so, so that's what I I think neat but poor. That's it. Fair, fair. Echo. Uh, I totally agree with Naomi. <laughs> neat and poor. Interesting. I, it, guys, I am the filthiest person <laughs> that I know. I, because in the in the in our in our show Chasing Bodies available on uh, YouTube now. Um, I, like when I was messing up my room, like it was. I, I got to leave it the way it was for a couple of days instead of cleaning everything up. And then when it was time to film, I just threw some more clothes on the ground. So I just in I just enhanced the the realistic mess that I was already living in. Um, this is my ideal thing. If I'm not swimming in a swamp of my dirt, then I don't want it. I not really. I make it sound like I'm actually like dirty. This is not the case. I should. No, like I shower like once a year. So mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Um, that was a joke, but for all intents and purposes, that was a joke. Um, no, but I feel like I thrive in mess. Mm. Is it bad for mental states? Probably. But I that's just my right. default. So I feel like I, I could be be rich, but but very messy, because that's the goal, you know, that's the dream. Tom Hanks probably lives a messy life too. Bro, I'll find. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I find out. Bodies. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, next question is this, guys. This one's a game changer. This is really important, and if you answer it incorrectly, the world is going to end. Would you rather only eat cheese strings for the rest of your life, or only eat toast for the rest of your life? Can you put things on the toast or is it just bread? Mm. I have to ask you, this question. You are so good at this. You know how people are like, oh my God, but can I ask the genie for unlimited wishes? This is what you're doing. I don't know. Like I wrote these questions and I don't okay, know. Don't worry then. I'm gonna answer as it's there. Okay. I would only eat toast. Reason being, if I have cheese the rest of my life, I will have the biggest stomach gig out in the past. <laughs> are you, are so, you lactose intolerant? Like semi. So oh. bread. Mm -mm, Carlos. <laughs> Echo. Echo. <laughs> I will choose toast as well. Uh, but honestly, I don't like both of them. <laughs> you don't like cheese strings for toast? Uh, I, I I can't imagine that you only eat one food for the rest of your time. Yeah. It's so terrible. I do agree. A big part of me wants to say cheese strings because, like, they're just so delicious. And sometimes I just, yeah. I think about eating toast and I can't. But I think about eating a cheese string and I can always eat a cheese string. And for that reason, I'm going to have to pick cheese strings. But will I never be able to poop again? Yes. Mm. So, I don't know. I feel like you're going to have the same problem with bread. So we're in this together. Eventually. Eventually, like, if you go one route, the toilet's going to be not in your face. <laughs> just involved. You're just going to see a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Okay. Hmm, we got, we got two questions left, okay? So make them count. This one is an interesting one and maybe controversial. Would you rather get a tattoo or get plastic surgery? Hmm. I know. Would plastic surgery <laughs> count as like, l like laser surgery. Would that count? Like, let's like say medicine? yes. Then I would honestly go for plastic surgery. I would, if I if I had the money and the funds, I would yeah. get rid of all of my unnecessary body hair with laser hair removal. Interesting. But you would like, be cold. I would be cold, yes, but I won't have to shave my legs again. There. That's actually, you, I don't know how, but in three seconds, you're like, loophole. 
loophole. <laughs> I have to find it. I have to find it because because I'm Spanish and Portuguese. So in the summer, I'm always shaving my legs all the time. <laughs> so I get I get plastic surgery. Interesting. It's, it's weird though because I would like a tattoo, but if I'm thinking, I get paid for plastic surgery. Extra, You're thinking you someone's going to hand you the funds for plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, they have to. That's that's how I'm going to do it. Of course. Echo? Uh, I will choose plastic surgery. I will never make any tattoo on my body. I think it hurts. And oh. it hurts. <laughs> and, uh, um, like in summer, um, I don't think I can, we- uh, I can wear a dress with tattoo. I think it's, mm. it's weird. So I choose plastic surgery to to change some details on my face, maybe. <laughs> what? Like, I want you. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I want you to keep every detail of your perfect face intact. But if I can, but I know it's it's pretty painful. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, so is plastic surgery, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's fair. Um I Guys, I want a tattoo. I want a tattoo yeah. so bad. I don't know where. Because, like, as as someone who wants to do acting and, like, entertainment, it's kind yeah. of weird to think of... You need to think of a place where it's not going to be an issue, as good as makeup and stuff is today. But I'm like, where on my body is never going to yeah. be seen ever. Um, so that's the thing. But I, I want a tattoo. I want... Bro, get some, like, Looney Tunes on my forearm yeah. get some improv quotes right down the sleeve um make them as you're sitting in this in the in the chair so it's actual improv yeah well, yeah i'm just talking to the person they're like writing down what i say and if i mess up but it, you promise it, you have to make it up on the spot and that's what yes you get. echo what were you saying but if uh many years later if you don't like that so can you remove that um the answer to your question echo is no not well but i don't care (laughs) no honestly that's a really big fear of mine because i just change my i have little phases where i like i like something and then i hate it the next day i had a recent obsession where i i really wanted a giant snail like because those are they're called giant african land snails and you can they're like like giant you just have them as a pet now i don't care so much because i did research on them and they're illegal in canada so i have to kind of end that dream for myself but um because they're (laughs) because they're invasive species (laughs) so you can't import them it's illegal anyways (laughs) that's enough about my dreams um but yeah Anyways, I'm probably going to regret the tattoos that I get, but um, stay tuned because I feel like that's something in my life that I'm de- definitely going to do. Um, okay, in the last question, would you rather use a phone with a broken screen or never see yourself in a mirror again? Um... This one? This is the one that stumps you? <laughs> oh, this is hard! Because, well, okay, actually, does a phone camera count as a mirror? <laughs> no, you show up in no reflective surface. For our purposes, you show up. <laughs> vampire? So You're a you say, vampire. A yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Except you get no perks, no other perks of being a vampire. You just get the bad part of of you never see yourself in a mirror and if someone stabs you with a stake you will probably die but that's because you're human i as shallow as oh my gosh this is a really hard question <laughs> is it? because Random? i i hate bro i like like my biggest pet peeve is like having a broken screen like even like a cracked screen protector yeah Ooh. but I um I, I like to make, make sure I look presentable, so I'm gonna go with I'd rather have a broken phone screen. Interesting. You, I couldn't you, pull my way out of this one. You but you <laughs> you're gonna put up with your biggest vice. This is growth. I think we're growing today. You know why though? I think that's like me rejecting technology. I think that's just one step closer to me being like I don't need a phone if it's broken. Wow, look at you. This is this is true growth. 
This is really true. Row. Row. Echo. What do you say? <laughs> uh, so we can use laptops, computers, and iPad, right? Let's say. I, 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 I see there is a phone screen in your, in your question. This, and it does say phone screen. But me not realizing that you guys were going to try to come up with loopholes, I'm going to say <laughs> any, <laughs> oh my goodness, any electronic device, the screen is cracked. Okay, um, I will choose broken screen, I think, because I need to uh, make up, so I need a mirror, and I need to dress up or something. I think a uh, mirror is necessary. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Guys, how about you? This is the first time we all agree. I <laughs> would also use it. Wow. Look at look at our growth. Look at all of us. Um, I I have a lot of mirrors in my room, and if I couldn't see myself, that'd be kind of freaky, but kind of cool. Um, but I I don't know how to show you. I currently, oh, it doesn't even show up. I currently have a broken phone screen. Um Get me! I this is just something I do. I I've had it's been broken for a very very long time. Oh, it now includes unlimited minutes. Our Zoom meeting. Oh, that's so awesome! Congrats. We we're all winners today. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. But I I currently have a broken phone screen, so nothing in my life will change. Oh, that's good. Cheers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I. You know how when you're in a Zoom call, you always kind of tend to look at yourself, even though like it's just a, like a weird thing that we do. I don't know what I would do without that. I just I love it's like a nice little like reassuring person just in front of me. So I couldn't give that up for the world. Oh, person, little buddy there. I know. I just oh, I'm my biggest fan. You know. Yeah, that's important. That is, it is important. Maybe and you know what else is important, Naomi? Watching Chasing Bodies on YouTube available now, wherever you are, <laughs> wherever YouTube is available. Um, please go watch our <laughs> film, Chasing Bodies. Um, uh, thank you so much for joining me, Echo and Naomi. It's been a blast and a half. And I feel like I, I've learned a lot about the both of you um, and mm -hmm. how incorrect you guys are, how wrong you guys are. What's up? Mainly me. Yeah. You and Echo agreed on like almost everything. It's true. Echo and I are best friends, and Naomi can leave. Lone wolf. <laughs> That's why we're on the poster together. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Wait, guys, wave, wave. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm stuck in a body, stuck with somebody who's not me. Stuck like glue to you, who smells like dew.